Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Today's tutorial, we're going to create a uh, a view that will allow us to create new posts for our blog. Uh, ultimately, this view will be hooked into another application we'll build down the road, which will be our custom admin. As before, I've told you, bef as I have mentioned before, I should say, uh, I don't like to use the Django admin. Uh, I truly believe that's only designed to handle one or two people working in the back end and it's not very easy to customize so I built my own custom back ends for my clients so I'm going to show you guys how that all works all right so in today's tutorial we're going to build a, a or we're going to create a view which will uh, be a new post we're going to create a form we're going to create a URL and we're going to create a template I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet but I want to try to pass on as much information as possible so let's get started uh, first things first we need to create a new file and that's going to be in the uh, blog directory or the blog application and it's going to be called forms.py alright <clears throat> in this forms.py file this is where we create our forms in the Django uh, in our Django application here we're going to say from which so we got from, and then we're gonna say from Django import forms. All right. So this is importing the forms that we'll need to create a form. Right. Uh, it's actually a directory. Um, then we're gonna say then we're gonna need access to our models because that's where we're gonna be putting our information, and we need to interact with that information. So we're gonna say from dot models import uh, post. And then down here, we're going to create a new class or a subclass. So we're going to create a class. And the naming convention usually for uh, forms is going to be the name of the model and then followed by form. So it would look like this, post form. All right. You can name it whatever you want, but uh, that's the naming convention that most developers use. And then we go forms. All right. So we're going in the forms directory. And then we're going to create a subclass of model form. Oops. Model form like this all right and then for now our forms only going to take uh, some initial data and we pass that with class meta all right in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to style uh, your forms a little bit um, so we'll end up working with the form a little bit more in this file but for now we're just going to make it as basic as possible so you guys can get the basics down all right so we're going to say we're going to uh, indicate where we're getting our model data so we're getting that from model uh, model is going to be equal to post and then we're going to set the fields that we want to display in our form um, in this case we got a uh, title body uh, category uh seo title seo title um seo description and last but not least status all right so these are all the fields we want to display so that's a basic uh form uh should one more enter here for pep eight reasons all right so um there you go that's what it should look like that's our basic form now into your views.py file we need to bring the forms in so we're going to say from dot forms import post form all right and then down here we're going to create a new view function based view and we're going to say um what should we name this we'll define new underscore post and it's going to take one parameter and that's going to be request all right <clears throat> um, then we'll create a template so templates equal to blog forward slash new underscore post dot HTML and then we're gonna get our form is equal to and we want to get our form so post dot form and our form is either going to take a uh, request dot post an HTTP request or return or none so we're gonna say request dot post or none like that and then we want to check if our form is valid uh, if form dot is valid now this method 
we'll check if the data inside the form fields is valid. So, for example, if we had an email field and we did something like uh, Tom at example.com, that would work. That is valid. But if you did Tom at example.com like that, that is not valid, so it will return false. So basically, it's just checking to make sure the data is in the proper format. All right. Now we can extend our validations um, in our form, but for right now, we're just creating a blog post that uh, the guy that has access to creating the post should know how to create a valid blog post. All right. So we're not going to really focus on that today. We're just going to say, if the form is valid and has the valid formatting for the the form fields, go ahead and save it. So the way we do that is form.save and this method will actually save it to the database. All right, so what happens if if the form is not valid? Well, then we're just going to go ahead and uh, return a uh, return the form. All right, we'll just return the form. So we'll do s else um, and then we'll just do form is equal to post form and with no arguments. Then down here we return or get the context variable is equal to, and we're just going to put our uh, uh, form actually not our post form here, and then we'll just uh, return and render our view. So return render, and it's going to be request template context just like that all right so that is an easy view to create a blog post um, next thing we want to do is set up the URL so we're gonna go into our URLs.py file we'll go ahead and bring that view into play so we'll say uh, new underscore post and we'll uh, actually we'll put it down here and we'll just indicate it's custom admin all right, so anything below this line is going to be a custom admin. Uh, so now we'll do URL R uh, for raw string and then our carrot. Now this URL is going to change um, after we create our custom admin application, our actual application. Uh, which we haven't done yet, but the URL will change. But for now, we'll just go ahead and set it to new post um, for example like sometimes I use control as the back end uh, for some of our applications or for some of our Django projects and our URL would look like this so anything that's uh, with control is going to be password protected for a certain user right um, but right now since we're just learning how to um, create posts and stuff like that. We'll just keep it as new post. So forward slash dollar sign. We'll bring our view in so it's new post. Oops. And then uh, our name is going to be equal to new underscore post. And don't forget your comma. All right, cool. That's all done. So let's go ahead and create our um, our uh, template. So. We're going to call this uh, new underscore post dot HTML and we're just going to extend base. So we've seen this before extends base dot HTML and we'll close that out and then block content and, and block just like that. All right. So inside our block content, we, we're going to need a form, an HTML form. So we'll do form. And our method's going to be um, post, because we're posting something. And then right off the back end here of the form, we're going to go ahead and include this nifty little um, uh, Django template tag. And it's a CSRF token. All right. Basically, what this does is it sends an encrypted code with the post to the blog um, and it protects against like um, brute force and stuff like that and it stands for cross-site uh, request forgery um, so 
include this in your post. If you don't, you probably get a warning message, but this helps protect anything getting injected into the database. All right. Um, so we'll include that and we'll talk about this more uh, when we start talking about security type features for Django. Uh, the next thing we want to do is bring in um, our form itself and then we're going to say dot as underscore P. All right. So each field is going to be um, in a paragraph tag, wrapped in a paragraph tag. That's why we say as underscore P. All right. Next tutorial, we're actually going to change this so it looks a little bit nicer because it's going to look like crap. I'm warning you now. All right. Button and our button needs a type. So it's going to be type submit. And we'll just say uh, save or submit, whatever. We'll save it. All right. So go ahead and go over to your uh, project on your browser. I got all types. Browser windows open here. Hold on one second. Find the right one. There we go. So once she wakes up here, we're going to go ahead and after blog forward slash, we're going to go ahead and put a URL as new. Uh, what the heck do we call it? New post? Or do we call it new underscore post? I don't remember. It shouldn't be underscore. So it should be hyphen. You shouldn't use underscores and URLs. I have a tendency to do that. All right, go ahead and hit return, and why aren't you working? Why are you being difficult? It's just my server hasn't caught up to me yet. For the love of God. All right, so my computer apparently thinks it's on vacation because it's taking forever. But here's our form, very ugly, like I said before. In the previous, in the next tutorial, we will actually make this look a lot nicer. But for now, oh, this is our form. So let's go ahead and test it out. Um, we'll create a new title. We'll say this is a title. Uh, we'll say this is a body. Um, this little green thing that popped up is nothing to do with our project. That is something that's on my computer. So don't worry about that. Uh, hi for SEO title. We'll say bye for <laughs> SEO description. We'll go to published and we'll save it. Oh, did anything happen? Well, we don't know because it actually did save it. Well, at least I hope I did. Uh, but we wouldn't know unless we went and checked. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to add a little message here that will uh, clear the form and say, oh, you saved it. But for now, well, let's go check. Um, we're going to say, whoa, we don't want that. We want, um, uh, what do we call this? Blog list, I believe. And we'll go check for this is a title. Our fourth blog post, There's this is a title. So we were successful in creating a new blog post in our future custom admin. Now, like I said before, it looks very ugly and we'll take a look at um, styling this in the next tutorial. Um, also, we'll return a message that says, hey, you've successfully saved it or return an error message if we had ultimately have an error. All right, so we'll look at that in the next tutorial. So we'll do a little styling. We'll do a little uh, um, uh, return messages and error handling as well. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.